the only thing you can do is continue to fight and tell the truth. I mean, that's 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 all you have. And I would make the argument. I mean, look at this show as an example. I got involved in politics uh, a lifetime ago. Uh, I was first elected to Congress in 1990. I was 32 years old. And the only way I could ever get the truth out was to buy an ad. I, I the talk radio didn't even exist. I mean, Rush Limbaugh was just getting started wow. back then. You, it, it, everything was whatever the newspaper or the television said, and there wasn't there weren't cable news networks even back then. So, all you had was the national media and then your local media, and if you had a dissenting voice, you either had to run a campaign and buy ads, or you had to knock on as many doors as you could. So the idea that that we are powerless to fight against these lies, you're a, a case in point where that simply isn't true. The reality is we have more opportunity to get our point across today than we've ever had. Now, they have more opportunities to get there because there's more media generally. The bigger problem we have is not that we can't get our message out. It's how do you talk to people that don't agree with you? That's the problem. The problem is you're, you're, we're siloed. Everybody just gets, you know, uh, information that agrees with their point of view and they, and they discount to the point of not believing anything that comes from people that they don't, they, they don't agree with. It's true, but it is the, the rule on the left and the exception on the right. There's a decent amount of people on the right who believe fake things and they just look for tribal uh, answers. Yeah. But on the left, it is the rule. It's a way of life. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. for instance, because they don't believe in truth. I mean, so that, Correct. I mean, let's just get to the bottom I line. I completely agree. They, they, mean, they, they, they believe in, in, a, they have power. a relative, they have a relative relativism point of view. My truth. It's my truth. And, and whatever they think <clears throat> is the truth and, and conservatives by and large, not all, because we have some, my truth folks on our side too. But overall, I think you're right. It's the exception. Yep. We believe there is a truth. There is a right and wrong. There is reason. And but through reason, you can come to a, 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 a conclusion. They don't believe that anymore. It's how I feel. Exactly. It comes back. I, I, I always go ahead. I was going to say they, they don't believe in truth. They believe there is no truth but power. Correct. That's it. Which actually the roots of it, even in our modern culture today, come from Marxism. I mean, that is the Literally core Marxism. ideal yeah. of Marxism. And ultimately, one of the things that Marxists do, and they've always done throughout history, is if you can control what people say, you can control what they think. If you can control what they think, you control reality, essentially, and you're in total control then. This is the ultimate aim of totalitarianism, and ultimately, that is the aim of the modern Democratic Party. And, and that's why you see a complete effort to redefine everything, to oh, yeah. make words mean nothing. Didn't they redefine the word definition? <laughs> that may have been a meme. That may have been a meme. Uh, do you know what the people's mic is? You know what there's a reference to? No. Yeah. During Occupy Wall Street, this probably predates Occupy, but this is when I, my first, I first encountered it. You're not allowed to use electronic voice amplification in New York. So what we're going to do is when I say something, everyone repeat it back at me so that everyone can hear. Then the speaker stands up and says, mic check. Everyone yells, mic check. And then they'll say something that the entire crowd repeats. Now, anybody who knows anything about cults knows that that's a cult, in, cult indoctrination Absolutely. technique. I remember their videos. Right. And the videos are, are insanely creepy. There's one where I post on Instagram where everyone's sitting with their hands up and there's someone chanting like, you know, Black Lives Matter is good. And everyone just re repeats it after the speaker. It's like they've and, and this is with amplification. So we're, we're no longer in the space where we need to lie and claim. We're just trying to make people sound louder so you can hear what they had to say. Now they have the speakers and they're still doing the same thing because making you say something over and over again and gr drives it, drills it into your brain.